Well, morning everyone. Um, today's adventure is more of a challenge actually. Um, I've got two 16 year old boys that hopefully I'm gonna try and keep off the computers for at least 12 hours. So I'm gonna go and do a little bit of target shooting, gonna do a bit of fishing, and we'll just see where the day takes us after that. So uh, come along for the ride and wish me luck. Destination one. Yep. It's a little bit of a walk into the paddock, and as you can see, the uh, recent rain has made the ground very, very soft. So we're going to go for a walk in the paddock and uh, set up some targets and see what we can do. We pump, boys. Yes. Let's yes. do it. I love shooting. So we're lucky enough to be allowed onto some private property um, just uh, on the outskirts of uh, town here and um, we've had to do a bit of a walk in as you can see the, the paddocks are very very wet um, we've had a lot of rain and there's still more to come uh, they reckon but uh, it's worth it the boys are having fun they're right down there in the gully coming back checking their targets and um, yeah we'll uh, hopefully the rain will hold off and we'll for a few more rounds downrange. Well, that's stage one of keeping teenagers off the computer done. We've had a bit of a shoot. So now we're heading out to the Hume Weir for a fish. What do you reckon of that, boys? Sick. Sick? Mitch yeah. is dead. Hey, is it like sick, sick? Like that? Yeah. Yeah, cool, that's cool. Sick. All right, let's do it. So we're five minutes off technology and we're going well. Well, sort of off technology. Well, so far so good. We've made it out to the weir with minimal whinging. The boys are set up, put their phones away. A little bit overcast out here today. The rods are in. Let's see how we go. What are we going to catch, boys? Sharks. Sharks. Sharks? Righto. Twisties. Sharks and twisties. Righto. Alright, let's give it a go. What do you reckon, Milo? Hey, what do you reckon? Alright. so far? It's terrible. There's no fish, no waves, no nothing. And then 
that's Mitch actually being positive. With only one carp caught for the afternoon, we decided to move across to the Hume Weir Dam where they've got six of the floodgates open, so we decided to have a bit of a look around there. again and we're going to take the scenic route around Lake Hume and uh, show the boys what a beautiful part of the world we actually live in. So just crossed the Bethanga Bridge and uh, we're heading up the Murray Valley Highway and uh, heading towards Coryong. We won't get that far. We're hoping the Wyma ferry is running and we'll put the car on that and uh, cross the weir on the ferry and uh, end up back in New South Wales. Just heading across the upper reaches of the uh, Murray River at uh, Wymer on the ferry. What do you reckon, boys? Pretty sick. Hey, okay, yeah, awesome. Cool. Yeah. What do you reckon, Milo? So behind me is the famous Edamoga pub. So we've just stopped here just for a, a quick refreshment on our way back into Albury Wodonga. So uh, the pub was built many, many years ago on the uh, original cartoon by Ken Maynard. And as you can see, she's a bit quirky. So 
Well, let's go and have a drink. Right, I boys, here's cheese. Mm. Right, what are you drinking there? Oh, it's a bit, bit of a mixed drink, what is it? It's fire called, truck. It's called a fire truck. What's in it, Mish? Coke and vodka. Mm -hmm. And raspberry. <laughs> and raspberry. There's no vodka in it. For legal reasons. Exactly. So a fire truck. So for anyone that doesn't know what a fire truck is, that's a fire truck. Cheers. What's your impression of the Edamoga pub? Where are you, Mitch? Oh. Pretty cool. Pretty cool? Cool. Dave, cool? Yeah. All right. When's your 18? We'll come back. Oh, say less. <laughs> Righto. Off to Aubrey Wodonga. So back at home base and the boys are inside making hamburgers for tea. I'm just going to light the fire outside and um, we'll cook have a bit of a cook up out here and um, just reflect on the day so it's been a cracking day so here we have eight perfectly sliced uh, pieces of tomato. Over here we're currently in the construction of the, the patty. It's got a mix of uh, beef mint, breadcrumbs, egg, onion, garlic, Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper mixed together in a large bowl. Hopefully we can hear all that over the queen. Yeah. All right, well done boys. Mission to do the tomatoes? Of course. There's a beautifully cut. Highest level of grade tomatoes on the market right now. Alright, well the fire is lit boys, so let lit. Lit. Yeah, lit. Is that like lit? Yeah, no. Lit. Yeah. It's not lit. <laughs> so boys, this looks like a pretty good spread you put on. Yeah. It is. Was it hard to do? Extremely. Very. But so difficult. So what, what I'm trying to get at, would another couple of teenage boys be able to do what you've done? No. It, only us can do this. We're just better. I think what Mitchell's trying to say is anyone can do this. I don't know. what? So how are these hamburgers going, boys? I'm the best cook there is. Looking all right. Oh, my old dog getting a bit of, bit of love. Mitchy head chef. Doesn't really exert himself in a lot of things. Professional. So this is uh, the sit-down cooking position. Uh, looking good, boys. Looking good. I'm eating the ones they touched. Well... Coming to the end of the day, the boys have done really, really well. Just me. Wedges, hamburgers. So, boys, is it possible for no. two 16-year-old teenagers to spend a day off the computer and have fun? Mm. It was... Yes. Impossible. <laughs> Thank you, Zave. Yeah. Pilot of the day? I'm being held hostage. <laughs> Shooting. Shooting? Yeah. Pilot of the Shooting. day, Mitch? Shooting, all right, very good. All right, let's Same get in, and have a crack, and enjoy. Yeah. Righto, well, I think today was a success. Um, we had two 16-year-old boys away from the computer for nearly 12 hours. Uh, they actually had a great time. We shot guns, we had a fish. 
uh, rode across the Murray River on a ferry, uh, went to the Edamoga pub. So it is possible to get them off the computers. Um, but until next time, uh, if anyone can think of any more ideas, um, hit that subscribe button, you know, hit the like button, throw me a comment. Um, if you can think of anything else we can do with the teenagers to get them off the computers. But until next time, thanks for watching. Good on you. Bye.